What's up, guys? I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Breakfast at a dim sum restaurant often includes an exceptional rice dish that catches my attention: lotus leaf rice, ho yi fan. This eye-catching dish comes with a small rice pyramid wrapped in a lotus leaf, or a large dome served on the banquet table. A chorus of lotus leaf aroma will hit your nose the moment you unwrap the packets. In these videos. I will show you how to make the lotus leaf rice at home. Let's kick things off right away. First, let's prepare the ingredients. Chinese sausage is a standard ingredient for lotus leaf rice. The easiest way to remove the casing of the sausage is to blanch it in boiling water for one minute. The casing will expand, and you can slip it out quickly. Next, cut the sausage into small dice. Next, get some bite-sized chicken thigh meat. Marinate with salt, oyster sauce, light soy sauce, ground white pepper, some cornstarch. Mix well and let it marinate for at least half an hour. While marinating the chicken, get some dry shiitake mushroom and soak it until soft. Then cut the mushrooms into small dice. Another important ingredient is the dry shrimp. Soak it in water for half an hour to rehydrate, then clean it and drain. I also include some stem of kai lan, that's the Chinese broccoli. The purpose is to add some crunchy texture, contrasting to other ingredients that's primarily soft and meaty. Let's move on to cook the rice. Measure one cup of rice. Wash it several times until the water runs clear. Then remove the excess water. Let's take a look at the abalone before we come back to the rice. I'm using a canned abalone with some gravy. Pour the abalone gravy into the same cup that measured the rice earlier. Add water until it is full. Then measure additional water to make up to one and a quarter cup of liquid. Then pour the water and gravy mixture into the drained rice and cook it in the rice cooker. When the rice is done, let it rest and cool. Then fluff the rice to release the steam and moisture. Cool and dry rice is best for stir frying as it is likely to stick to the wok. Now prepare the lotus leaves. That's the most important thing for the lotus leaf rice. First, fill a large basin or any container with water that can feed the leaves. Trim off the excess as it's too big for the rice packet. Then soak the dry lotus leaves to rehydrate them fully. It will take at least one hour. After that, bring a large pot of water to a boil. Blanch the leaves for another few minutes until they are softened fully. The leaves may break when you use them to wrap the rice if they are still stiff and rigid. Remove them, then clean with a damp cloth to remove any dirt. Now we start to cook the ingredients for the rice. Heat some oil in the wok. Then pour one beaten egg into it, and immediately spread it thinly by tilting the wok slightly. Once the egg is set, cut it into small pieces with the wok spatula, then remove. In a clean wok, sauté some chopped garlic until aromatic. 
add the Chinese sausage. Followed by the dry shrimp. And continue stir frying until fragrant. Include the shiitake mushroom. And the stem of the gailan. You may need to add some water if it is too dry. Then continue to stir fry for a little while and season with ground white pepper, light soy sauce, oyster sauce, some Shaoxing wine, When it's done, remove everything from the wok. Let's move on to fry the chicken. Stir fry the chicken until it is cooked and slightly brown. Then remove. Pour the rice into the clean wok with some oil in it. Season with salt, some light soy sauce, and stir fry until fragrant. Now return the stir fry ingredients to the wok. Turn the heat to high and stir fry for a minute. The rice is ready now, and I'm going to use the lotus leaf to wrap and steam it. Place the leaf with the tip of the stem pointing down in a shallow bowl. Arrange the abalone and the egg pieces at the bottommost part of the leaf packet. Add the fried rice into the leaf packet and lightly press to compress it slightly. Fold the leaves inwards like closing an envelope. Reword the packet so that the tip of the stem is now facing upward. Place it in a steamer basket. Cover it if possible to avoid water condensation from dropping onto the rice packet. And then steam for about 20 minutes. Remove the lotus leaf rice from the steamer. Cut off the top of the leaf to expose the rice. Then garnish it with thinly sliced scallion and red chili to serve. That's how to prepare lotus leaf rice or yifan. If you like this video, please subscribe, tap the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. Please also watch other dim sum recipes and rice recipes on this channel. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.